People Power Coalition, a group of multi-ethnic, multicultural organizations and individuals that have said, ya basta, enough. This administration likes to think that they know something about what it is to be native to this place or what it is to have invasion happen in their homeland. But this administration is wrong. And we're here as indigenous peoples to get that story straight. So we tell Trump, you have no authority to tell anyone to go back anywhere. But we have the authority to tell you to go back. We have the authority to tell you, you don't belong here. Your ideology doesn't belong here. White supremacy doesn't belong here. And we say that emphatically. Silent is complicity. Silence means that you're in agreement with what's going on, the, the atmosphere. The whole atmosphere has been polluted. We have to have, and we call on all people to have more courage to stand up against this behavior. Asked me, well, aren't you retired? I said, there is no retirement when there's injustice and inequality in this damn state and country. No one has any business going off and laying on the beaches. We have our business in the street. And I'm here with you today because your struggle is my struggle. And my fight is yours. I'm here with you today because when we talk about events like El Paso, we are not talking about random, unpredictable, one-time events. We are talking about a tradition of violence that has, visited, that has visited itself upon black, indigenous, and brown bodies since America's inception. The same tradition of violence that led European settlers to initiate Western expansion, displacement, and genocide, and call it destiny. When we think about El Paso, it's not shock or surprise that causes our eyes to sting with tears. Together we can win. If we are committed to the cause of our mutual liberation, then as long as there is breath in our bodies, there is nothing they can do to stop us. Now here we are on a hot day, standing here to decry and denounce what we've been denouncing for years after years after years. And I am a Muslim woman, and I am a black woman who has African and native blood in her ancestry. I'm feeling our oppression on many levels, not just mine, but also on the level of all who stand here representing people of color in this country. We are addressing and confronting the issues of poverty, systemic racism, ecological devastation, and the war economy, and bringing a moral impetus to address these issues now, not tomorrow, not next year, now. Ya basta. Ya basta. In the spirit of Crazy Horse, in the spirit of Hieronimo, in the spirit of Sitting Bull, of Adelita, of Jesusita, of General Emiliano Zapata, whose birthday it was yesterday, in the spirit of Rodolfo Corky Gonzalez, Cesar Chavez, Bert Corona, the many leaders in North America, we say enough, ya basta. We are not going to back away. We're not gonna step away. <clears throat> and we have a constitutional right in this country to defend ourselves. And I just wanna note that the whole time I was here, I was nervous looking around, seeing if any suspicious people were around, someone showing up with a gun, angry, because people of color are standing up now and demanding justice.